Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today I'm gonna try and make a short video because this weekend I have been attending a computer party for the first time in two years so time is limited the question that I get the most is wow you must pay a shit ton of money in power and yeah that is not untrue but uh, I cheat I turn stuff off when I'm not using it but it all costs money so today I'm gonna try and do a video on how you actually calculate how much money your equipment uses um, and I will do it over a year because if you just calculate how much it uses in a day well you get blinded because well that's not a lot of money but if you look at it over a year well you might get shocked let's put some of this in perspective like a enterprise server like this one it has a display so I've just checked it and right now it claims to be using 230 that's more 121 watts so that is eh, that's that's not too bad over here beneath the screen we have this Hewlett Packard cloud server that we have done some videos on and that one used about 200 watts behind up here there is a couple of switches and they are kind of like 50 watts ish each so it's a lot of power and it all adds up so I have a, I prepared some numbers that I'm gonna give you so this is lovely and analog and <laughs> very easy to do power price so here in Denmark we pay an arm in the lake for power so one kilowatt hour is about it varies from what plan you get but the kind of the cheapest that I could find right now is about it was about 2.3 Danish kroners, so I added a little bit and said 2.4 but you can easily get something that, that will cost you more like 2.7 Danish kroners per kilowatt hours and I calculated that 2.4 Danish kroners is uh, 0. Point, well it's 36 cents in US and it's 32 cents in euros your price is most definitely different from this but that number is very easy to put in I'm sure some of you will say that you only pay one third of that and yeah this is so unfair <laughs> but we need something we need uh, a day and a day has 24 hours there and a year and that has 365 days uh, I know there is every fourth year there is only 364 but that's less than a thousand it doesn't matter 365 is what we're going after and um, that will bring us to how many hours are in a year and to do that you, you take 24 and you multiply that by 365 and fast head calculation that's 8760 hours uh, yearly so that's a good number because when we have the price of a of a kilowatt hour we can calculate if we use a kilowatt hour all the time we're going to be using 8760 kilowatt hours but a kilowatt hour is kind of a lot so instead we want to figure out how much does one watt cost so if we have something that uses one watt it could be your stereo on standby might use one watt of power just to be ready for you to press the remote and then turn on that would be something what does one watt per year cost if we use one watt for 8760 hours that will give us 8.76 kilowatt hours and then we multiply that with the currency of what does one kilowatt cost over here I have already done that in Danish kroners that is 21 Danish kroners we're gonna call those DKR 
a year and in dollars that's 3.15 and you put the dollar over here a year so that's just one watt if you if you run one watt at these prices in a year it's three dollars fifteen and if you are in the EU and uses euros well that's a 2.8 in a year that is some numbers uh, and that's a bit scary because there's almost nothing that just uses one watt so a, a server like the the cloud server in here that was 200 watts and I calculated that so the price of running that one year in Danish crowners that's 4200 DKR Danish crowners uh, and in dollars that's six hundred and thirty dollars I know that if your price is different you will of course have different prices here and in euros five hundred and sixty it's a lot of money to run one server for one year it becomes worse if you run a bigger server like this server down here which is the awesome IBM X3850 X5 well that uses closer to 500 watts not doing too much but yeah that becomes really expensive so 500 watts in Danish kroners that becomes 10,500 DKR there and in dollars that becomes 1575 dollars and in euros that oh, was an ugly euro 1400 so it becomes really expensive real fast so when you're buying new equipment you have to take these things into consideration i have some switches back here two switches one 10 gigabit and one uh, one gigabit and I approximate that they use about 50 watts each so that's half of this so every year I pay about 2100 Danish kroners just to run my switches and in that's half in in dollars and half in euros um, yeah 315 280 calculation over here how much do you pay for one watt in a year is very good to have so every time i see something i know that one watt costs about 21 danish kroners a year so if it uses 10 watts well it's very quickly to calculate that okay then it's 210 danish kroners in a year if it uses 100 watts well 2100 so yeah that's a great calculation to have in your head these calculations apply best to stuff that you plan to run all the time like i have a, a server over here that runs all the time that wasn't exactly the one that we were looking at that's the other one so that one was 121 watts that's the other one and it's very quickly to calculate that that cost me well the 100 watts cost me 2100 danish kroners a year and then there is the 21 watts on top of that and well, that's another 400 danish kroners it's it's a 2500 danish kroners to have that on all the time I don't have that one on all the time and it is kind of why I shifted server not long ago because I had an older M4 running and looking at performance and um, power usage well if you're gonna pay the power you might as well get the best performance possible on your 24 7 server so I had my actually an old intern of mine he has, he has migrated to China, very unusual. But he, um, he wanted some advice on what enterprise equipment to get to host some gaming servers that he was planning to do. And my advice was actually don't get enterprise equipment for your hobby project. And um, he actually do want to make it into a business, but well, but you never know how that goes. My advice was to get some low power equipment 
and my um, thought behind it is it's way more fun to put your money in hardware than in the power company so there is no problem in getting an old server like this and it uses 200 watts and in a year it will cost you um, $630 you could also just pay the $630 up front and get some better equipment that uses less power a server like this could easily cost you $200 so if you take those $200 and then you take let's just say 400 of these $660 and, and, and pay that more to get something that uses less power well it will actually break even within a year and the rest of the time running this equipment you will be saving money on your power bill and you will have some better equipment but this is different from the weekend warrior if you just need a server that you can play with in the weekend it's perfectly fine to get a server that uses 500 watts that's no problem because doing a weekend like 48 hours it doesn't really matter if the server uses for ten dollars of power in a weekend because you probably had a lot of fun and it's about the same price as if you go to the cinema and get well see a movie and get candy and popcorn so what i'm saying is it, it's okay to have a rack full of servers you just need to pick when you want to turn them on and off and the equipment that you use all the time make sure that it's very low power and shut stuff off you don't need i need to shut some stuff off because i don't actually need it i've been doing some video uh, chia mining and there is no chance in hell that that mining effort is gonna pay itself back because the power is too expensive if i had like free power oh well, it would make good sense maybe actually the equipment is also kind of expensive all those hard drives so it's it's good for videos but it's not actually good for your wallet also tier is kind of cheap right now so maybe if it suddenly blew up and cost 10 times as much it would be um, you could make money of it right now it's not so much make sure your 24 7 server is not using too much power it doesn't matter if the rest of it is power hungry bastards but make sure that the stuff that you run all the time is uh, it's not too expensive in power i can really recommend you to try and, and get a power meter like this that will measure how much power your devices cost and it's it can be quite an eye opener to go around the house and, and plug your equipment through the power meter and add the numbers up you will most likely find some stuff that you will suddenly have an urge to turn off back in the day i was using a projector as a awesome big screen TV and it was always ready to go and um, I found out that this projector was using 40 watts all the time just in standby get, being ready I, I think it, it preheated the lamp or something uh, but 40 watts is like over a thousand Danish kronos a year and a thousand Danish kronos is quite a bit for a projector not doing much and I didn't use it that often it was like the cool thing that I could watch a film on on my wall and when I found that out I also found out that my stereo used next to nothing and it had a plug on the back of it where when you turned your stereo on it could turn on other devices and I figured out that if I plug the projector in the back of the stereo I can with my remote control turn on the stereo and the projector will at the same time have power and I always used those two together because when I was watching the movie I also wanted surround sound so um, I figured that out and I saved a lot of money that way but also on your computer equipment your switches your routers your stuff put a power meter on it I know a lot of you have physical routers you have a tiny little box where your internet connection comes in it uh, well it could be pfSense and then the internet goes out um, to your other system that is actually why I am running my pfSense on a virtual machine because I figured out a long time ago that my router was actually using quite a bit of power and uh, yeah I, I got cheap there and, and I made it virtual instead I think I've been running a virtual router all the time that I've been doing YouTube which is getting to be seven some years <laughs> seven seven some years I think I've waffled on long enough um, I would love to hear in the comments below how you save on power with your equipment give me all your good ideas down there 
and if you wouldn't mind liking this video as well I always forget to ask you to do that so would you please like the video if it wasn't too much gibberish Danish gibberish <laughs> never mind thank you very much for watching my videos do subscribe to my channel so you can see me again and have a really nice day bye bye